day bubbling. It's a weird life realization. I have never been born as a spirit, and I've never experienced death either. And I just find this very interesting because then, uh, from my perspective, I assume everyone's in this stage, right? Like, if we're worried about sort of reincarnating in a way or even dying, we're worried about something we don't really have touch with, um, in a way. Like, all I've experienced is going to sleep and waking up, and all this, um, is basically just seamless transitions, right? I've never experienced, like, becoming or ending, um, but I have experienced letting go and waking up. Um, but this is just interesting, how we always, um, how we always speak of birth and death, um, from a level, from a real personal level, right? Like, I'll be born or I will die, as if spiritually we will be, but going through our life, this is something that's never, never happened to us. We do concern ourselves with things that, um, we just think to be true, right? So, just interesting. Also, since it's more of a longer video, another interesting thought is just reason, right? And our purpose for being, um... This, this is always something that we're going to discover, as far as I can understand, like, we will, uh, in time, basically exalt our reason, right, because that's what our consciousness and our spirit will aim towards, it's like, eventually we'll be like, nah, that wasn't quite, you know, what I liked, like, I like experiences more on this end, you know, I like, like, this taste is a little bit better to me, and eventually we'll flesh out a sort of direction where we indulge, and we love that, we love that feeling, right? But that reason is a personal sort of divining too. Like truth, soul, human being uh, will never give you direction. Like a thousand people can tell you to do something, but that if you take that as you should do that, well, you divined that, okay, here's the facts. I'm going to do this. Like reason is always something we are. It's never something that um, is universal. Um, it's it's re-sun. It's the sun. It's your second sun, right? It's your direction. But either way, this is how, um, like, sort of elusive and delusive reasons are going to either realize or die, right? Because if we have a delusive purpose, we're going to experience a lot more... Um, trial and tribulation then um, sort of reception and growth to the point where we're not going to experience any breadth or it's going to take 10 times more work for us to develop any sort of nutrition than anybody else, right? Like we're going to need to put in a hundred times or someone else could just put in one times, right? This is where if you're in a synergistic pocket and everything's working and flowing, wow, it can be great and productive and you're happy, right? But if you're in a negative pocket and you're working for something destructive, you could have nothing that could be awful and you could be digging yourself deeper into the hole, right? But so this is just an expression of how um, like our reason it could be negative, like, it could be delusionary, but this is how each one teach one, or each one has to learn for themselves in a way, because you can't make someone, you can't make someone like a taste, right, like, if someone is going down a negative hill, they're gonna have to go down that way, there's nothing you can do about it, if they genuinely like hurting people, well, then they're going to have to learn in their karma that, oh, shit, I like fucked up shit, why, Oh, because I like other things too, right? It has to be that I, right? So if you're trying to be like, this is where other people become teachers for us and we can't take spiritual responsibility for other people, but yeah, take responsibility for your relationship with them, right? If someone's taking advantage of you, if someone likes hurting at you, um, like I don't, I don't hate. Like, yeah, that person likes hurting people, but I love everybody as much as I hate everybody, you know, I don't like feel that universally. What I see is that person's on their negative karmic path. And if they're able to put that hate or that negative energy on me, it was teaching me either my defenses weren't good enough, either my spiritual who I let in wasn't right. But there's something wrong with my karma to the point that I let in someone or I went through an experience that fucked me up, right? Or you know, different case scenario, something just happens out the blue, you know, I just fucking, 
I don't know, I just fucking die, and then all of a sudden, I'm living my next life in the dreams and imaginations and illusions that I've been fucking dwelling in here, such that it don't even matter. Like, that person, we each one. Each one to each one. Like, I don't fucking care. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'm ready to move on at any moment. It's like, um, I'm just glad I'm here. Like, I just give thanks I'm here, you know? Like, fuck. But... But yeah, going back. So this is just this is just going back to reason, right? And going back to our individual light and our individual purpose. Like you cannot not realize your purpose and you cannot realize anybody else's purpose. You can't let anybody else tell you your purpose. Like you may not know your purpose, but that doesn't mean it's not there because you like certain things. You go in certain directions. You have a certain reason to you. You have a certain like rhyme, you know, aka you don't repeat yourself, you want to do new things, but hey, history don't repeat, but it rhymes. You see, you know, you're like, oh, that reminds me of that, you know, that reminds me of that. You start building what your character is, you start really developing your reason, right? That's not something that can die. That true reason, that true vibe. I know that that may be hard to comprehend because that's not physical, right? But that's a light and that's a direction that over time your mind because your mind is the chakra of your reason is going to force you to realize because your mind figures out what you do like what you don't like because you developed it in in your current spiritual space and yeah in your current space in your current perspective so so either way this just goes down to icarus and hermes and what thought truly is right this is uh developing a mind and this is what thought fully is and now okay so why does icarus reach the sun and then fall okay well <clears throat> a good way to comprehend this is new moons uh versus full moons or the lunar cycles right on a new moon the sun and the moon are conjunct right what is our sun okay it's where we're going what is our moon it's where we come from right and this earth this us is our individuality it's the current right it's what everything flows through so if if the sun, where we're going and where we come from, are conjunct, all of a sudden, our dreams are in alignment. That is an exaltation of a reason, right? That is a birth of a chakra. Because where we're coming from is aligned with where we're going. Like, we don't have any doubts, right? We're fully in tune. We're like, yeah, balls deep, you know? There ain't nothing holding us back. So once we fully hit a full moon scenario, and now we realize something, this is when our reason's been evolved. And this is why it is reason. This is why it's an art. And this is why there's a difference between logic, reason, and truth. Uh, what we just experienced, what's solid, what's standing, right? That's why we understand or overstand, but the truth is what just stands, okay? So, um, so either way, our... Our reason then developing from our spiritual space is something we're going to be forced to realize, right? And that's something developed at that new moon scenario, aka when we're birthed or we're fledging our mind or we're fledging our chakras. But as we go through life, as we go through experiences, we actually realize the vibe that we were incarnate in. And what does that do? Well, as spirits, we want something new. We want to keep moving. We want to keep accruing. We want to keep on zooming, booming, and keep on tuned in and creating new fusions. You know, we are ever aspiring. There is no limit to what we want to do. So, AK, when we create an individuality, when we create a perspective, yeah, we live it up just like a wave. But that forces us because now we're a wave going in a specific direction to hit a beach. You know, we're going to end. You know, so that means that, yeah, we develop our reason, we develop our purpose and we realize that. And that may be the brightest shining thing in the world. You know, that could literally be earth. That could literally be the heart. But even damn right, the hurt, the heart, or even as Hermes says, laws, laws above time themselves are still looking forward. They are still looking forward. Spirit is still looking for more. So we hit that full moon scenario when our thoughts incarnated. And what happens when we reach the sun? We fall. We realize the illusion. We don't want it anymore. We want something new. So that's just a little bit perspective about our purpose and how we are destined to realize our purpose. And this means that you can connect to the part of you because it is there that is truly connected to what you want to do and that actually has that realized and that may make you think oh wow well i have everything you want but no 
because actually when you fully realize that you're going to find a new direction and that's going to set you on a new track so even if you do time travel you're like oh someone has everything they want because they time travel no they just move faster than you we all time travel just at different levels like you may time travel slower than another person but that's just a game of manifestation but but that's just interesting right but that's so interesting too when you realize the crystalline sea and the neptunius energy of the soul energy within you and how that truly connects your higher vibration and your lucifer and your demiurge and how that's going to be forced to incarnate itself till you look it in the mirror and you move on well what does that mean that means all of your wildest dreams will be incarnate what else does that mean you didn't know everything and those dreams suck ass but hey so that's just that's just awesome, right? Hey, ever aspire, stay hopeful. I love you all. Hey, stay blessed. Look, bubbling, citra, beach, out.